Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to start looking, now that all of our parts are clean, we're going to start looking at removing rust. And up here in the north, where I live, it's hard to get a lot of products. So I went to the local hardware store and this is what they had. They had this Loctite rust dissolver and then a Gugon brand rust remover, which removes and dissolves rust. So I didn't know what to buy, so I just bought a whole bunch of these and this big one. So let's see which one works better. I got two pieces here. These are the chain case pieces. Oh, these are the chain case pieces from the uh, uh, real mower. Now let's read the instructions here. We'll start with Gugon. Uh, Pre-test on inconspicuous dirt. Remove oil and grease from the metal to be treated. We did that. Rinse the metal and wash away loose dirt. We did that. Apply the remover by brush, spray, or dipping. Use plastic, glass, or stainless steel containers. Well, this is... I don't care about this. This is uh, cleaning. Apply the remover as required to penetrate rust. Cleaning time will vary according to the rust. Light rust will usually be dissolved in 15 minutes or less. Heavy rust will require up to 30 minutes and may require a second application. Okay. So, this will be Google on. I had to pull it up. No big deal. Alright, we gave it a pretty good bath. Get our watch out here. Stopwatch. Clock. Stopwatch. Start. We'll come back in 15 minutes and see how it's doing. Okay, it's been about two and a half minutes. So we're just doing a progress report. It is moving. It does smell mildly of like a very light acid. I don't know. Uh, there's no instructions as to like rinse it off. It's just like wipe it off. So okay. I just pass the three minute mark. Okay, we just passed the seven minute mark. I can't really tell much of a difference. Maybe a little bit more metal showing up. I don't know. Seven, seven minutes and 30 seconds right now, Mark. Boom, that's 15 minutes. It looks like maybe I'm seeing some new, some cleaner spots. I really don't know. Let's wipe this thing off. We're going to remove some. Alright, here we are. It did, looks like it did remove some of the rust. But it didn't do a lot. So, set this aside. Wipe our control area. Whoops.
This was a nice baking pan before it got scratched to heck in the dishwasher. Alright. Here's our next victim here. Pretty bad, about the same. A lot of pit pitting and... Sorry about that, the management was calling me. Uh, so we got a lot of rusting here and pitting. So let's try Naval Jelly Rust Dissolver by Loctite. This stuff you have to, I shook it up already. This stuff, what you do, you know, contains phosphoric acid. Mm. Do not swallow. Oh, I think I'll pass on that. Uh, oh, I'm reading the Spanish directions. No wonder I can't read it. God. Use gloves. Well, oh well. Scrape away loose dirt and rust. No. Um, brush, on, brush on liberally, working into pitted areas. Leave on five, ten minute, five to ten minutes. Rinse off with fresh water and repeat. Okay. Ooh, it's pink. It looks like the amoxicillin medicine you got when you were a kid for for various ailments. Ooh, it's already like bur bur burbling up. I'm trying to do this one handed. It's already working. Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> touched it. I touched the butt. Phew. This stuff stinks. I can smell it. Uh. Excuse me. Alright, so it's been applied liberally. Uh, we'll let it sit for the full time, 10 minutes. Reset. Boom, there we go. Quick glance. It's doing something all right. And look over here already. You know. So we'll uh, let her do her thing for ten minutes. Let's see what she does. I have a little more faith in this, but I mean this would be cool if it worked too. We're just trying to do one application. Which one? Uh oh, Mr. Spot. Which product works the best? So. Well, it's a close race. It's hard to tell which one actually did more. Although, I think I know which one did. Here we have the Goo Gone Rust Remover. The more you let it sit, did okay. Some of this is 
a residue there. That that's not that's still rust. But you do see some bare metal. Oops. If you were in focus you would. Some bare metal. This side really hasn't changed too much. A lot more paint. Over here we have the Loctite rust dissolver. And it actually did get rid of some of the rust. It didn't do much in here, which is where the worst of it was. And on this side, it also did a little bit, but not a lot. So I'm not too impressed with either product, you know, as far as a real quick fix. I think this one did a little bit more in a shorter amount of time than the other. But, so we'll try this one, and I'm going to let it sit on, you know, brush it on, let it sit for a while, for more than 10 minutes. And we'll try it again. So, that was just a quick comparison. Both are quality name products. I'm not telling you to use one or the other. I am not sponsored by one or the other. Just trying to compare. Um, obviously, the best is probably Evapo Rust, as that is what many rest, you know, restorers online use. Uh, I can't get it up here, so we're stuck with what we got at the local hardware stores. So. This seems to do a little bit more in a shorter amount of time than that, but both do not completely get rid of rust. Alrighty, look what's back. I took this to a local shop and he was able to use his acetylene torch and just burn that critter right off. So, Because we knew we needed a new bearing anyways. But today we're going to start the rust removal and tidying up. This isn't going to be fun or easy. Um, I'm going to look at some other rust evaporators, but we got to get the big stuff off of here first anyways. Let's see, I got that. I got that. I have another one. I do have another one. I have that. I got three wire wheels. Not my favorite, but what we got for right now. Start with this one. And the old fashioned drill. The washing machine's on. Ignore it. Should always wear safety glasses. Here we go. Cleans up though. Okay, today we're going to work on this, these badges. I did uh, get the tire off here, so we're going to be clean, trying to clean this up. I did order some new tires. Uh, it's a good thing I did. Because that one came apart very easily. I think they're the right size what I got. I hope they are. If they're not, well, anybody need any lawnmower tires? So... We're going to work on this guy today. One thing I did notice is that uh, 
all of the, the Johnston mowers I have seen, like I've mentioned this, are blue. You know, with the yellow. I mean, okay. Uh, I know Johnston was bought out by Jacobson in the 50s at some point. I'm wondering if this one wasn't built out of leftover parts from when they bought the company and then just painted orange. You know, J uh, Jacobson, like, red-orange. Just a thought. I don't know how accurate that is or not. Um, yeah, I'll just grind these guys off. I don't even know what day it is. You may be wondering or noticing that that pile way over there is a lot smaller. It's because I made a purchase because I got my tax refund the other day. Boom! The good stuff. This stuff is great. The petroleum or the navel jelly stuff worked the best. The orange didn't really do much. I tried it a couple times. Didn't work. The navel jelly works, I call it navel jelly patrol, or yeah, it is, yeah, the Loctite stuff worked okay, but it would have taken way too long. This is so much better. You just dunk it in and let it sit. See, the thing with the uh, Loctite is you put it on and it hardens and it sticks to it. So once you're on, you're stuck there. It's stuck. Whereas this stuff, you just rinse right off. It's environmentally safe, which is cool. So, it does stink though, I think because I had some dirt on, on there parts still. So, let's see how, this is the second batch. I have to, most of that stuff has been dunked already. I have to, it's been flipped over except for the big front plate. So, tomorrow I'm going to flip that over and I'll put the wheels and the last two pieces in. And we should be good to go. So, let's see how that stuff did on the first batch. Here's the first batch that I had in there. Um, as you can see it did pretty good. There's still a little bit of crud in there and here but I mean it, everything is free. I gotta get these rivets out. Uh, yeah! Holy Toledo! Some of this stuff I don't know if I did on this. I did take the paint off like this. I had to take this paint off to get this other bushing off. So some of that I did. But this had did did have rust on it. Uh, remember these. A little bit there, which I'm going to take care of in like two seconds. A little bit there. Again, two seconds. Sorry. A little bit there. A little bit there. I took all the paint off already. This looks great. There's some of the original paint. A little bit here. Again, that might just be dirt. But on the drill, that should come right out. So all the nuts and bolts are great. I uh, accidentally dumped this stupid thing yesterday in the mix, of course. <laughs> so I had to fish all that out this morning. That was fun at whatever o'clock it was when I woke up. Here's the other adjuster. I said I might just take this whole thing apart and clean it real good. Um, so our next step is paint removal and we're going to start painting. I did make a run to the hardware store today. Um, I was actually very thankful they were open because 
our governor just passed another order yesterday that is going to start closing down garden places and I think hardware places too. So you can't buy lumber, you can't do nothing. So I took a chance and drove over there today and thank God they were open. So, got some of that. Clear coat. Which I probably have a whole bunch in the garage, but when you're, when it's a 20 mile, or a 10 mile ride one way, you grab everything you got. There's our red. I don't know how close it's going to be, but it's what we're going to get. Oh, sorry. It might be close. It might be a little bit brighter. Eh. Fine. Uh, here's our yellow. I uh, the two yellows I have. The one can is is shot. It's the, the air leaked out. Another thing for help remove tire pins, rivets, rivet gun. You don't care about that. More rivets and the one nut that I broke. So, and then I bought a whole bunch of seeds and stuff, but you don't care about that for my garden. So this should be enough to get us going. I have parts on order. I have, and I, uh, a buddy's working, you know, shout out to Dave. He's looking for parts for the motor here. That's last. The motor's last. I'm not even worried about it. Worst case scenario, I got a whole bunch of motors in the garage. It doesn't have to be factory original for right now. Um, I got an old tiller out there. I wonder if that would work. That'd probably be a lot more powerful. Anyways, anyways, I'm digressing here. So, today's goal is to really start the paint removal process from all this stuff. Um, the stripper is my last resort. But I think I'm going to have to use it because I can't be sitting here with the, the drill for the whole day. So, let me, I'm going to fix this. Let's get to work, guys. Okie dokie. Well, the battery in the drill is dead again. I should be using the electric, but the uh, powered, but meh. Well, I got done quite a bit, actually. So I'm going to use the paint stripper on these pieces over here. Whoops. On these pieces here. I'll grab the other one too. Might as well have it free of paint before it goes into the dip. So tomorrow or later, whenever I'll get these these guys all cleaned up. That's gonna be a pain, but we'll do it. So If memory serves, you don't want to touch this. No. I isn't going to touch it. Oh, 
It's also expensive. I don't want to waste it. Smells good. Oh, it's already working. Good stuff, man. Uh, where'd the cap go? Oh. I think I only let that sit for like five, ooh, five minutes. So. Then we'll rinse her off. Wipe it off, whatever we gotta do. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Some of this is already done. This, like aluminum, for example, is nice and easy. Ow! Maybe this needs a little bit longer, but you can see what it's doing. Yeah, we'll put that in a little bit longer. Let's get 
the big stuff off first. thing work for a little bit longer. All right guys here's our stuff. This is after the rust remover. This is a, this is after the paint remover. That paint remover didn't do crap on steel but did pretty dang good on aluminum. Try to figure that one out. So this is after the evapor rust. You saw how bad that was. I'm going to hit it with the wire wheel here. Should tidy it right up. Some of this is ready for paint. This I got to do a little bit more work on. Okay, this needs to be cleaned off a little bit better. This stuff is ready for paint or primer. At least. Okay. I got to figure out or make a new one of these because it got destroyed. This I'm not going to get clean, so that's still there hiding on that. And I got all these to do. That's going to be a nightmare. So, um, we have our last batch of stuff here in the soup cooking. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get to, uh, let's get back to work. Oh, no, I left the battery upstairs. Gotta go get my battery for the drill, because I'm stupid. Be right back. All right. Do a little bit of start with this guy. And I really need a bench grinder. That would be really nice. This is going to take a, a while. All I want to do is knock the loose paint off. Whoa.
it perfect? No. But you know what? I think that's about as good as we're going to get, boys. Give everything a real quick wipe down. Break time. Okay. Everything is not perfect. I'm going to guarantee you that. But. We're going to use what we got. I go to the garage probably and get that rust neutralized or er, uh, stuff the paint. So let's uh, get some primer on this stuff. Okay, well, welcome to the wood room. I inherited all this stuff when I bought the house. This is also known as the painting room. So. Let's get started. I bring you guys in here, but it's pretty cramped. So I'm sorry about that. I do have a window open over here. This is actually a coal room at one time. And then the oil tank room, which is behind me. All kinds of stuff in here. Including water. I don't like it. I don't like it in here, but it is what it is. I'd like to get an exhaust fan set up here. Oh. All right, here's the stuff, most of some of it, then hanging from there. First coat of primer done. I broke that window over there. 
so that's going to be fun to endure while we have a blizzard next day or so. So we'll let everything dry real well and uh, keep at her. So till then, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Hopefully we'll get to the rest of this stuff in the next couple of days. A couple things in there. Handlebars. And that's it. And we can start the reassembly. So, until then, thank you for watching guys. And Happy Easter. For those, because tomorrow is Easter. Happy Easter to you and your family. Thanks for watching.